Hi there everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel More Yoga Fitness. Today we're going to be practicing our booty yoga and you're going to need a weight to eventually place in the knee pit of your knee. So go ahead and grab that. We'll use that later in our practice. We're going to start today's practice with some nice deep breaths. Inhale as you reach up. Exhale, hands at prayer, bow forward, squat. Inhale, reach up. Swan dive, forward fold. Half lift, forward fold. Big inhale, mountain pose. Squat down, hands at prayer. Inhale, reach up, forward fold. Breathe in, half lift, forward fold. Mountain pose, bend the knees, squat. Inhale, reach up, swan dive down. Half lift, forward fold. Big breath in, mountain pose. Draw your hands to your heart center. Widen your stance into goddess pose legs. We're gonna squat down and inhale as we reach the arms up. Inhale up, squat down, breathe in and out. Draw the sitting bones closer to the earth on your squat. Knees track over the big toe, baby toe. Holding yourself nice and low, lifting up on the ball of the right foot only. We're gonna squat singles down and up here, getting into the inner thigh and of course the booty. Working our calf a little bit as well. Stay low in pulse. Just a little one inch up and down movement. Returning back to singles. Down and up with a full range of motion. last time with our pulses staying up nice and high on the ball of that right foot we're gonna switch sides now left foot lifts up in releve down and up singles we're holding it low pulsing keeping control just one inch up and down. And back to singles, down and up. Last set of pulses. Keeping those six inch stiletto shoes on, on the left side. Flatten your feet. We're going to alternate between the right and the left heel lift here. Staying low in your goddess stance. Inhale, reach up, straighten the legs, sweep down, breathe in up. We're going to fold forward coming into straddle bend here. Threading the hands through the legs and allowing the crown of the head to drop down toward the floor. Bending into opposite knees, side to side, just to give ourselves a little stretch. Walking the hands forward, inhale as you reach up and twist. Maybe taking a half bind behind your lower back. Find your opposite hip crease. Breathe in as you reach up and we'll switch sides. Open up floor to ceiling and come back down. We're gonna walk our hands to one side of our mat as we step back into downward facing dog. From here, lift your right leg, bend your knee and roll it open. Your hips are stacked. Tuck your nose underneath your armpit and we're gonna bend and straighten the knee here. 
And as you straighten your legs, squeeze your kneecap and point your toe with purpose toward the sky. Square your hips up to the floor and we're gonna tap the floor and lift the leg. Six more here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Very good, hold it at the top. Just a little pulse here. One inch, up and down. Step forward, right foot to the outside of the right hand. And we're gonna drop the left knee down and up toward the mat. Step back, downward facing dog. Left leg lifts, bend the knee and roll it open. And we're gonna extend and bend the leg Pointing your toe with purpose and squeezing the kneecap as you extend your leg. Squaring your hips up, drop the toe to the floor and lift. Seven, six, squeeze at the top. Five, four, three, and one. Hold it at the top here, and we're gonna pulse. Step forward, left foot to the outside of the left hand, and we'll drop our right knee down and up. Squeeze in, right kneecap as you lift your leg up. Step back, downward facing dog. Bending opposite knees, pedaling out your dog for a moment here. Coming down on the knees and sitting back into a child's pose with narrow legs. We're gonna grab that weight and place it in our right knee pit for a modified donkey kick, a little bit more intensity here. You can always do it without the weight as well. We're gonna start with little pulses up and down. We're gonna keep that knee relatively level with our hip. Begin a bigger range of motion, bringing the knees to kiss, and then bringing the foot back up toward the sky. Almost like you're trying to stamp your footprint on the ceiling. Holding the pulses at the top. Then back to singles, full range of motion, down and up. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, let's switch knee pits. Shifting the hips side to side for a little bit in between, and then we'll move to side B. Left leg is up in our donkey kick. Full range of motion here. Bring the knees to kiss and up. Six, five, four, three, two, one. And we'll revert back to those pulses at the top of the movement. Knees kiss and lift. A few more singles.
and we'll remove the weight. Coming onto our side here, make sure to stack hip over hip, kneecap to the sky on the back leg. We're lifting our rib cage up away from the mat and stacking our shoulder over our elbow. Let's move that bottom leg up and down, keeping toes flexed toward the face. We're doing singles here. Placing that kickstand right in front of your hip. Holding at the top with little pulses. We're going to lay that bottom leg down and move our top leg now, tapping the knee in the front and our toe in the back. Now we'll tap our knee, toe, kick up and down. Knee, toe, extend, down. Out and stretch here, big toe hold. And we'll release and switch sides. Lifting and lowering our bottom leg. Working their inner thigh and our booty. Holding the leg at the top of your movement with small pulses. Release your moving leg to the mat. We're going to tap our knee to the front of that leg and our toe to the back. Tapping our knee, toe, extend, down. Knee, toe, extend, down. Just a few more. Great job. Extend through the heel, big toe hold here. And we'll release. We're gonna make our way into tabletop and fatigue our right leg first, starting with donkey kicks at the top of our movement. This time we don't have any weight in our knee pit. Tucking that knee behind the opposite knee pit and then bringing our knees together to kiss. Tuck behind, lift, knees together, lift, behind, together. We'll do a few more. Now we'll bring our knee to the outside and then donkey kick up. Knee to the side, kick up. Side, kick up. A 
fire hydrants here, up and down singles. Extending your legs straight back, squeezing your kneecap and lifting and squeezing the glute with every repetition. We're doing singles here. Coming down on your opposite forearm, tucking the knee behind the knee pit, kicking out to the side, knee pit, extend to the sky. And we'll continue with this movement for a few more repetitions. behind the knee pit in between each move is really important. Get as far over to the side as you can. And we're done with that side. Sit back in your child's pose and take a few breaths to reset before we move on to side B. Making our way into tabletop. We're going to focus in on the left leg. Starting with our donkey kicks, flexing the foot. Little pulses at the top of your movement. Tucking the knee behind the opposite knee pit, bringing the knees together till they kiss. Continuing with this movement. Bringing the knee up to the side and returning back to your donkey kick. Side, kick up, side, kick up. Coming into fire hydrants, lifting and lowering, keeping your heel in line with your knee. Extending your leg long and lifting and lowering. Go ahead and tuck your knee behind the opposite knee pit. Extend out to the side, knee pit to the sky. Nice job, sit back in your child's pose. From here, we're gonna make our way into a sideline position. So go ahead and bring your rib cage up away from the mat, stack your shoulder over your elbow and extend that leg long on the top. We're going to lift and lower in singles here.
pulse little bitty pulses at the top. It's important you're at the highest point of your movement. We're going to draw our leg to the front, all the way to the back, to the sky, and to the back. Front, back, lift sky, back. Lots of hip mobility, and of course, glute engagement. Back, front, back, sky. Let's switch sides. Top leg, point toe, lift and lower. Pulse tiny at the top. Draw your leg forward to the back, to the sky, and back. And our last one. And done. From here, we're going to make our way onto our back, bringing the soles of the feet together. Sutta Baddha Konasana. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. We're just going to place the pinky toe side of our foot on the earth, keeping the soles of the feet pressed together. Peace fingers behind the head. We're going to lift the right leg only as we crunch up. Keeping both knees turned out in your Baddha Konasana legs. Left leg only, lifting up and down, simultaneously crunching. Shoulders lifting above the mat. Alternating right and left as you continue to crunch. Now we'll lift both legs and both shoulders alternating. Let's release the hands, fold your knees together. We're taking figure four or pigeon pose on our back. Interlacing the hands around the shin or the hamstring and recline back. Simultaneously pull your knee in toward your chest 
as you press your tailbone down toward your mat. Release, stack your knees, grab soles of the feet or your ankles and come into cow face on your back. Release and we'll switch sides. Pigeon, side B. Bind around your shin and draw your knee in toward your chest. Shoulders are touching the mat and tailbone is pressing down toward the mat. Release, crossing knee over knee, coming into cow face pose, reclined. Go ahead and release. Lifting up into your bridge pose. Palms are down. We're going to come down and up singles. Each time squeezing your glutes as you lift up. Hip points toward the sky. Pulsing at the top. Three counts and lowering down. Three, two, one and down, three, two, one and down. Hand variation and singles. We're reaching straight up toward the sky. Fingers are sparked. Pulsing three and lowering down. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. One more hand variation. Open your arms out wide. Palms are up and we'll begin with singles. Keep the four corners of your feet grounded into the mat. In fact, as you press your hips up, press firmly down into the mat, pulsing three counts and lowering down. Four, three, two, last one. Bring your hands to heart center. Extend your legs long on your mat. Feet are up to the width of the mat. On your next inhale, slowly rise up. Keep your palms pressed, gaze up, thumb knuckles to your third eye, and bow forward, taking a fold here. Keep your toes drawn away from your head. Inhale, draw your palms up, and we're going to make our way into seated easy pose taking one final breath together here. Inhale, draw your hands to heart center. Thumb knuckles to your third eye. Exhale, bow forward. Namaste. The divine light in me honors and respects the divine light in you.